All right, we just made it to Paris. We are in our Airbnb for the next, I think, six days. Um, we literally just walked in, but I wanted to film a room tour before our stuff gets everywhere. My name's Mary Margaret, if you're new to my channel, and today's video is going to be our honeymoon vlog. This is where you walk in. And then this is the view. It's very like Moroccan vibes, which I love. We have the little entryway right there. Love all of their like interior design and decor. It looks so cute. We have these beautiful windows that open up to the street so we can let a breeze in because I'm pretty sure there's no AC in here. I love these little like window sills. We have a TV and then another cute little corner. It's so funny, you can like literally see into all of these people's homes. And then, oh, I didn't even realize that we have a full length mirror. Yay, I can take all my OOTD pictures in here. And then our bed is right here. We're still waiting on them to bring over our sheets. The bed will be made later. And then facing this way, we have like one little chair for a seating area, coffee table. And then this is the kitchen. I feel like this is, this is even smaller than a New York kitchen. Like this is a closet, but I mean, it works. They fit everything that you would need. Glasses, bowls, got a little fridge. This is a little stove top, sink, microwave, coffee maker, all that stuff. I'm just obsessed with these wood beams on the roof. I think it's so cute. Over this way, we have the bathroom. And then I didn't realize, but the shower situation is like basically just a tub. And then if we want to shower, we have to use this thing. Like there's no um, shower head. So that'll be interesting. We didn't realize that when we booked this. Um, and then again, very tiny. It's giving New York vibes, but I'm pretty sure that's a washer and dryer. We have the toilet, sink set up. Looks like we have some storage to put some stuff. We have a little mirror and then we also have windows in here that open up to the courtyard that's about it for the room tour it's pretty much just a studio space um but we're gonna be out and about all day so it's the perfect size for just the two of us but we are going to get dressed and just like freshen up and then go head out for the day because i think it's like three o'clock right now and i did not sleep at all on the plane so i'm feeling pretty tired no one wants to go get a coffee and then we're just gonna like explore the area and then grab some dinner later tonight so that's kind of the update for now and i'll take you guys along for whatever we get up to today my little outfit for the day is this cute little Princess Polly dress. I don't even know what this is called. I don't either. <laughs> we don't know what this area is called, but I'll put it on the screen right here. <laughs> We're so uneducated. now our first official day in Paris. Last night after dinner, we came back and just crashed. Noah, we literally walked in the room and Noah was like snoring after two seconds of sitting on the bed because we were exhausted from our very, very long travel day. I think we were traveling for over 24 hours. I think it was like 30 hours or something crazy. So we were seriously exhausted and even waking up this morning, we were like, we're gonna wake up and have like such an early start to our day. I think I set my alarm for like 7 a.m. and I just kept snoozing, snoozing, snoozing and now it's like 8.30. So I wanna check out one of like the famous coffee shops that I've had on my list of things to do. And I also think I'm buying a purse today. 
When I was here last summer, I was actually in Nice in the south of France, but I bought my first designer bag. I like did not grow up buying designer. That was not a thing in our family. But last year I worked so hard. It was also about to be my birthday and I was graduating. So I was like, this is gonna be my treat to myself. And I bought my first designer bag and I seriously use it every single day. So we are back in Europe and I don't know why, but now in my mind, I'm like, oh, I wanna make this like a tradition. So we're here and I've had my mindset on a YSL bag. We went and looked at it yesterday. I think I took a few videos in the store, but like also there's like security walking around and stuff. So I felt a little bit weird filming in there, um, but we do have one on hold. So that is on our to-do list today is to go back and buy that. So I will show you guys once we get back from that. But I think there's these little like shopping area called like the CN stalls. I saw that on a bunch of people's TikTok. So we have a fun little day planned and I'm gonna take you guys along. All right, I am dressed and ready for the day. Today I'm wearing actually the same exact dress that I had on yesterday, but just obviously in a different pattern. This one is red and white polka dots. I showed this in one of my packing videos um, and I think this just screams Paris. So I'm excited to wear it. I don't normally wear red, but I thought it would be fun for this trip. It's just a full length maxi dress. I have on the same shoes that I had on yesterday, just these chunky sandals from Steve Madden. And then I'm gonna grab my purse and we're gonna go head to Cafe de Flore. I'll put the name of the restaurant somewhere on the screen here. Um, but I've been seeing it all over TikTok, all over Pinterest. So we have to go try it out. Look at this little restaurant boat dinner. We're gonna be on one kind of similar to these, um, I think tomorrow night. It's gonna be so fun. It takes you like all down the river and you get a really good view of the Eiffel Tower too. Just finished up with breakfast. It was so good. So glad we ended up going. The line didn't take long to get through at all. I think this is the Luxembourg Garden and it is massive. So tired. I know. The jet lag is kind of getting to us because it's like. I think it's like 5 a.m. at home right now, so we're just exhausted. Look how pretty, you guys. Look at the trees over there. How like perfectly trimmed they are. All right, there's a little bit of thunder, so we're crossing our fingers that it doesn't start raining on us. But right now we are walking to YSL, and I think we're either gonna walk or Uber home. It just depends if it's raining or not. I window shopped yesterday and now it's time to actually shop, so. All right, we are back from our little adventures today. We've actually been back for probably like an hour just hanging out because we are exhausted from walking around. We've already walked over 2,000 steps than we did yesterday. I think I'm at like 14,000, which means you're at like 16,000 because he ran this morning, but we've already walked so much today and it's only like 5 p.m. We have dinner reservations at seven, but we're gonna leave a little bit early because we are gonna walk. So I'm about to change into my dinner dress. This is just that black ruffle maxi dress. I think I showed it either in my packing video or one of my recent YouTube summer try on videos um so i'm about to put this on and i think i'm just gonna leave my jewelry as all the same i don't need to switch that up yet and we went back to ysl today and i got the bag i don't want to open it yet because i kind of want to film a tiktok unboxing so once it's out of the bag i will show you guys what it looks like okay i'm back i just filmed the tiktok unboxing so now i can show y'all what it looks like 
Here she is. I'm so excited. I don't normally buy designer purses, so this isn't just like, this isn't just like a regular thing. This is a big deal for me. I've been looking at bags for probably the last five or six months, just trying to like decide what I really want because it is expensive and I wanna get as much use out of it as I can. So this is the one that I decided on. If you have been following me for a while or you just like have seen my Instagram content before, you know the other purse that I have is this exact shape. And so that's really what I wanted for this bag, just a more summary option because you can fit so much. It's like practical because all the other options he was showing me were very like slim purses where I would basically only be able to fit my wallet in there, which is not gonna work for me because I always have so much stuff. So this is the one that I went with. I believe it's called the Jamie bag. It's everything that I could have wanted and I'm so excited. I'm gonna use it for dinner tonight. That's why I was like rushing to get it open, but she's so cute and I know it's gonna get so much use. Give us a spin, let's see your outfit. Amazon shirt that I ordered him. Looks so good. Good morning, you guys. It is now day two, our first full second day, and we just got dressed for the morning. I wanted to show you guys my outfit before we head out. I'm wearing this little girly top from Revolve. I will link it in the description for you guys. It's so cute. I love the back too. It's so like frilly and flowy. And then I just have it paired with these pants from Free People. They actually come as part of a set. It's called the Freya set, so I will link that as well. So we're on this really fancy street with all these like stores like YSL, Hermes, Chanel, all this stuff. And we're passing YSL and we end up look in the store and Selena Gomez was inside. <laughs> and we just looked her up on Instagram and her last post is a picture of the Eiffel Tower, which just confirms that it was her. always see like online but seeing it in person I'm just like starstruck I feel like every time we see it we're like it's also our third day and this is our first time seeing it fully in person like we've only just seen the tip of it from different streets so this is the first day we're like okay we are going to see it but we still want to come back and see it at night when it sparkles I think we're gonna pass by it on our dinner cruise later so we'll get a view of it then but it's just so pretty. This is the best spot to see the Eiffel Tower. It's literally empty so you can get the best pictures and all you do is come down these stairs from the main street. I just put on this dress for the riverboat dinner. I'm already outfit repeating because I didn't shoot any photos in this yesterday and I really wanted to get a good picture. So I'm wearing the same black ruffle maxi dress that I had on for last night's dinner. I am just going to retouch my makeup and then we need to call an Uber in like five minutes. And I'll have the name of the company of like the boat service that we're going through right here on the screen if any of you guys are coming to Paris soon and wanna do it too. Day and I wanted to show you guys my outfit before we head out. This dress is from Free People. I am obsessed. I have been waiting to wear it 
and I feel like today is finally the perfect day. It's just super flowy. It's like a midi maxi length and it has these really big oversized pockets. And then I just have it paired with my chunky sandals from Steve Madden and my new bag. We're gonna head out the door to go grab some breakfast and I'll take you guys along. We just got a baguette, some waters, and two chocolate croissants. We went to the same little like cafe that we went to yesterday. And yesterday, like the lady was nice, but she, you could tell she was like, oh, y'all are tourists. And then when we went there again today, her whole attitude changed. She was like, oh, she's like, oh, I'm real from yesterday. So we're gonna try and go back again tomorrow. She was so sweet, and our baguette is fresh this time. It's hot, but I wanna try and take some pictures with it real quick. I think right here, so I'm gonna set you guys up so you guys can watch. All right, we are back from coffee and breakfast and Noah ended up showering and I did a little outfit change because we are about to head to the Palace of Versailles. I bought us tickets for the day. We're not doing like a guided tour. Figured we would want to just like explore ourselves and kind of go at our own pace. So we just got tickets to like go to the palace, the gardens, and a few other things that we will have access to, but I'm so excited and I just wanted to show y'all what I ended up wearing. This is another dress from Free People. It's a little mini dress and it's actually a knit material and it has like a little um, tie right here and you can tie the straps a few different ways. And then I think I'm just gonna throw on the same shoes and same purse that I had on this morning. Flowers. This is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. All right, we are dressed and ready to go. We're about to head out the door, but I wanted to show y'all my outfit real quick. This set is from Z Supply. I am obsessed with this. I'm so glad I brought it because I feel like I've already worn all of my outfits that I had planned for Paris. And so I was honestly kind of saving this one for Nice, but it's gonna get its use in both places probably. Um, so super cute little linen set. I love the wide leg pants. They're very like oversized and baggy, which I love, but then they're cinched in at the waist. And then my purse, we just have my hair up in a claw clip today because I think it's getting up to like 85 degrees. So I'm probably gonna be sweating in these pants in a little bit, but this is the fit for today and we're gonna head off to breakfast. the next day and I'm going to end this vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on my upcoming Europe videos and I will see you guys in my next video.